Mark Toby was a mid-20th century American artist who developed a signature style which he referred to as white writing. Unlike many of his peers that were incorporated into a movement that was known both as Abstract Expressionism and the New York School, Toby was somebody who looked both to Eastern as well as to Western formal inventions. Toby, however, unlike Jackson Pollock, remained until 1960 essentially an easel painter. That is, his work never attained the monumentality and scale of many of his peers. And as you travel through this exhibition, you'll see that Toby's work, unlike the immediacy and gestural spontaneity of a work of an artist like Pollock, his work is deeply reflected, deeply pondered, and grows out of his meditation on his interior life. When Toby first exhibited his white writing painting at the Willard Gallery in New York, we know that Jackson Pollock saw the show, thought about the radical implications of his abstract mark making, went back to his studio and created his monumental all over compositions. However, as abstract expressionism began to grow as a movement, Toby resisted being incorporated into its paradigm. He was essentially averse to the nationalistic overtones that many critics and writers brought to bear on this seminal moment in the mid-century. So Toby continued to work as an easel painter until he exhibited at the Venice Biennale in 1958 alongside of an, other Americans such as Mark Rothko. He began to think seriously about the intimate scale of his work, went back to Seattle, and the size of his canvases began to grow significantly. This exhibition, which has been in the making for more than a decade, is composed of over 70 paintings and as such is the first retrospective take on Toby's work in Europe in more than 20 years. I hope that this exhibition will provide a renewal of interest in Toby's work and that you will come to see his wondrous writing at the Peggy Guggenheim Collection.